For this last set of examples, we're going to worry less about what the fractional powers really mean, because that's something that's going to come up in a later lesson anyway. And we're just going to apply the rules we already know to the fractional exponents. So we know that if we are multiplying a base by a base, that we add the exponents. So here we have a to the one-half times a to the one-third, and we need to add one-half and one-third. So one-half plus one-third we need to get a common denominator, so we'll do them both as sixes. So one half would be three sixths, and one third would be two sixths. So those add together to be five sixths, which means that a to the one half times a to the one third is a to the five sixths. For the second one here, we're raising a power to a power, so we multiply, so we just need to take one-third times two, which means we get a to the power of two-thirds. For this one, we're dividing powers by powers, so that means that we subtract. So we have five-halves, five-halves minus one-half. So if we have five-halves and we take away one-half, that gives us four-halves, or two. So we have a to the 5 halves divided by a to the 1 half equals a squared. And then finally we have x squared over y cubed to the power of 1 third. So we take x squared to the 1 third giving us x to the 2 thirds over y to the third times y to the 1 th or to the 1 third power. 3 times a third is 1 so just over y. Fractional powers can look a little scary, but they're actually more logical and intuitive than you might imagine. A fractional power is just the same as a root. So if we take a look here, if we have 9 to the power of 1 half squared, well we know that our rule for multiplying powers, or raising powers to powers, means that we multiply the exponents, right? So we'd have 1 half times 2 here, which would be the same as 9 to the first, 1 half of 2. So if 9 to the 1 half squared is 9, then that must tell us that whatever this is, it undoes the squaring. Because otherwise, without this here, we'd have 9 squared, which would be 81. So somehow this 1 half power takes us from 81, that we'd have if we just squared 9, back to 9, which is the square root of 81. So the rule in general looks like this. If we have a number to a fractional power, the top number in the fraction is the power, and the bottom number in the fraction represents the root. So in this case we have x to the one-third would be the same as x to the first and then the cubed root, or the third root of that. The number times itself times itself that equals x to the first. So let's try that with another numeral let's say 2 to the 3 fourths power. So that's 2 to the third power, 2 to the third power, and then the fourth root. So whatever 2 to the third power is, in this case 8, and then the fourth root of 8, the number times itself 4 times that equals 8. In this case it would be the square root of 2.